All right. Hey, man, how are you? The rug guy just walked in. <laughs> That's a good. That was a great opening. Uh, <laughs> welcome to episode eight uh, of the grind. I can't Langley Austin into coming down and hanging out with me against his will. Um, glad he came. Thanks for coming. Yeah, man. I, you know, it's almost like second home here. Right. Or you know? I, I like it. I'm appreciative for you making the drive down. We, uh, I didn't want to have him on just because we talk a lot, and I, I think he doesn't say as much as he should. So he's getting ready to have this awesome race, and I really want people to know about it. I want people to come to it. I, I think it's going to be a good time. I think it's not only going to be a race. It's going to be like what we think of fun racing to be, right? Like Absolutely. some entertainment and things that we both grew up watching at races that people like. Right. Well, I mean, you know, and you know, the place where we're having it at, I mean, it's, you know, it's a good time guaranteed there. You know, uh, the people there are uh, very interesting and, uh, you know, it's something you have to see to, uh, you know, understand if you've <laughs> never been to Franklin County. I mean, you, you got to go there sometime. So you might as well make it to Sunday. Franklin County is definitely, I, I, I don't really talk about things that I don't know that much about, but I got to tell you, the last time I went up there, I've, I've never forgotten it. It's been nine years, eight or nine years ago. Right. And I'm looking forward to going again because I, pretty for sure that I won't be let down up there. It's nah, pretty man. intriguing. No, nah, it's a uh, it's an interesting group of uh, characters there. I mean, the uh, the people that uh, the people that race there and the people that watch races there <laughs> um they're not like every other race. <laughs> I, they're a little it's, it's kind of like they're a their own, they're their own group, that's it, for it's, sure. It's a mix between, you know, Bowman Gray and I don't know, something else crazy. I'm yes. not really sure. I'm telling you, there was deer antlers and a hat the right, last time right, I was there. Right, right. Good old, good old buck, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. Super, I mean, great people, too. They right. they just wanted sure. to come and race. They they were, had a great, that's what I loved about it the most. So I'm, I'm intrigued to come back this this Sunday. What, uh, what all do you have on tap? Let's get that garbage out of the way first, and then we can talk junk after that. Right. Uh, got to, you know, 125 lap late model race. Uh, got about 18 cars entered right now, which on that track, you know, <laughs> I, I, honestly, and, and I know this sounds really terrible to say, and, and somebody will probably take me to task for it, but uh, 12 is good. 12. You know what I mean? If, if six of them decide not to show up, I'm I okay bet 20. That. I took the under over with 20. Well, you're going to lose that $5. No, I don't take. think. I, I, I still think there's time. What's I mean, there up? is. There's There's a few people on the fence. I mean, I got uh, a couple that's been begging me to come test this week. And, sure. uh, you know, so we'll see what happens. What uh, what What is it? How many tires? What do you what, Give us a little bit of backstory about what's happening. Man, we're cheap. Two tires, two new, two scuffs. And, and, you know, not only that, you know, we got the two new, two scuff option. But, you know. Because I, I'm I'm a man of the people, so sure. to speak. You know, what I mean, I want those guys, the low budget guys. So you can buy, you know, six scuffs for two hundred bucks, or you can get these premium scuffs that we've got from DRP that are, you know, come from Martinsville. Probably got ten, twelve, you know, laps on them for three hundred bucks. You know, for a set. So no matter what you want to do, it pays There's at least two hundred to start. Okay, so whatever you want to do, you can you can spend as little money as you want. Do they have to buy fuel? They don't have to buy fuel from us. We'll have somebody there selling fuel, but nice. you, you don't have to buy fuel. I love this. There's no, there's no other, you know, it's a $30 pit pass, but there's no other requirements. You're right. not required to do anything else. That's awesome. You know, I mean, and, and <laughs> that's uh, awesome. Not a, and I'm not saying this in a demeaning way, you know, to these other events, but you go to these events like Myrtle Beach, you know, and, and sure, we're not as big as they are. We're not paying as much as they are. We're not doing any of that stuff. But the thing about it is, is, you know, it costs you so much less. I mean, you can come and race, uh, you know, with us for little to nothing. I mean, it, it's great. Speaking of, speaking, of, I'm glad you segued there. I'd like to get back into the other classes you have, but let's hold right. this for a second. Thoughts on the Myrtle Beach race yesterday? Mm. Oof. Boy. You know, the, the promoter in me feels really sorry for him. Uh, the journalist in me thinks that, uh, you know, you need to write really nasty things about him. Yeah. Um, and, you know, just knowing those guys, I mean, I hate it for him. I, I hate it for all the racers. I hate it for all the fans. I hate it for, you know, Steve Zacharias and, uh, you know, his whole team. and, and Who uh, had a know. pretty successful career up until, or yeah. year. It, well, year. I shouldn't I, say career, honestly, year up until you, that you point. you think, you know, yes, you have a, you know, a crap show, you know, there every now and sure. then. You know, but, and it's everywhere. You're going to have that, you know, at some point at everywhere you go. But, you know, they had really kind of got away from that, you know. 
know, it was nowhere near as bad as it was in the Billy Hardy days, you know. <laughs> I mean, they really tried to, ah. and I mean, they just went all the way back this one. Well, you know, and it happens. It I mean, happens. You know, it's, it it's hard. I mean, you know, and, it, and the thing about it is, I think I told you this earlier. You did. You know, you said, well, I'm just surprised. And I'm like, well, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised when a show goes good. Because yeah. when a show goes good, I know all the things that probably went wrong that you didn't know about. Right. You know what sure. I mean? So it, it, it's a difficult proposition to put on an event. I don't think I just I'm surprised. I, they, I just everything that I've been involved with them on has been top notch. And I'm not saying that they're not top notch. I I just want to make sure that we don't judge single efforts here right. and persecute they, people. I, I told a guy on Sunday that called me that oh, we just need to try to make all the racetracks great, not run one of them down to right, put the other. Right, said if right. we're if we're, if that's what I we're agree. really out for, you know what I mean? If we're right. really, I, I prefer that. Every place had 25 cars. That's just me. But yeah, I mean, everybody has a Lynn Carroll day every now and then. For sure. You know what I mean? Wow. It's just, it I happens. Mean, yeah, I mean, listen, and, and Lynn, I ain't got nothing against Lynn. It just, I mean, he he's like the poster boy for that nowadays. So that was awesome. You know, wow. it is what it is. Hey, we might have one of those Sunday. I don't know. You Good. know, I, I don't think so. You know what? You know, that was Dan, the thing that I appreciated you by you saying that. You were like, it could, it could just as easy happen to me. It like, could, I, that, could. that could easily happen. Hey, I will say one thing that I'm glad about, about, you know, Myrtle Beach. Uh, I feel like they really. Um, lowered the bar of expectations for an event for this week. So I kind of appreciate that. I mean, you know, I feel like they helped the cause. No. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if if we have a few screw ups, they're gonna go. Well, they were better in Myrtle Beach, so it'll be okay. It can't be that bad, right? What uh, What other classes you have going there? Um, we got uh, mod fours, forty laps, five hundred to win, dude. I uh, I think we'll have twenty five plus. Of those awesome. shows. I mean, they're coming from Tennessee, That's South awesome. Carolina, North Carolina. You know, Virginia. I mean, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of really good, uh, really good guys coming. I really feel uh, really good about uh, about that. I think they'll be the best show. Oh, I told man. you earlier. I think I, I just like the show. Them guys have passion and care, and they, it's all close, right? The race is super close, so it's great. It's about People like a big late off. model race. It's either going to go one of two ways. Either it's going to be a wreck fest, or they're going to go green flag all the way through and just be <laughs> the best hard racing, racing you've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, the last time we had 20-plus cars there, uh, 2016, um, I think we had one caution, and that was on the start, and we just racked them back up. and went Started and again. Had are you going to call the races? Are you going to call the – I mean, are you going to race control – these uh, races nah. da danny willard has got that under control nice. danny and brandon you know brandon's flagman tell us about your staff tour. is that who you do know, uh, we got a lot of people we know in. um you know and then i got a bunch of local guys who uh you know help me but those two you know are my you know two biggest helpers because you know they come in you know they they have the knowledge from the races you know danny's been a part of friendship and you know all these places you know in cars tour and uara and brandon you know he yeah, grew up you that's know, it he doesn't flag in the stands and, you know he's so good and people I, I have people all the time when we use him they they go Man, I enjoy watching him. Yeah. I get sometimes I watch him and I don't even see the wreck. For sure, which is cool. For sure, I I think it's a great addition. His, his dad too. Oh, yeah, his, like, his, yeah, his dad. His dad. I'm telling you, if uh, he should be the race director at every big late model event there, is. and he's kind of built for it. Like he's well mannered. He does a great right. job. He, he he can hold his. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Well, uh, you know, and the thing about it is, you know, me and I, I rarely ever get into it with you know my my people but you know we've had our times you know when I, yeah, i've come sure. in you know i've been mad about something and then you know we you know we have to go but he stays at, at such a level now he may be steaming inside but he stays at such a level and that's good with the racers because you know they're coming up they're going to be mad you know they're going to be mad how much how much pressure is there here i know for you you try to always play it off as such a tough guy but right i I, I know there's got to be pressure there for you. Be it the, it's I don't think people understand how tough it is, right? It's a one-off. <laughs> it right between. I, I I think the phone we're we're busy and the phones rang four times here today. We still have plenty to build, right. but it's just not a real active time in right. late model stock car period, right? Like people come in, I want a new car. Here's my money. I'll see you in six weeks. Sure. They go away, right? Sure. They're they're worried about Thanksgiving and Christmas yeah. and whatever, and. What made you decide? You know what? Bam! Here I'm gonna I'm gonna do this right in between Myrtle Beach, and well, them them moving the race is what made me decide. That was it. Uh, it. It just worked. I mean, there's nothing else going on this weekend except the NASCAR banquet, which sure. cost me a car. But you know that, that happens. Um, you know so, it, it, you know pressure. I don't know, man. 
I, I mean, every everything you do in life, there's pressure involved with it. Uh, you know, race 22, when, when we have an event, you know, even if I'm not there and, you know, Brandon or Andy or Corey or, what, you know, whoever's there, yeah, still you know what pressure, I mean? Yeah. I, I, it's in the back of my mind. Even if I don't get, to, even if I'm busy and I don't get to check on it the entire day, at the end of the day, I go, oh, God, I hope they took care of our, our advertisers and I hope it was really good and I hope they didn't screw anything up. And, you know, they're really good. And I'm not sure. saying that sure, you know, sure. I expect them to screw anything up, but at the same time, you just never know. Manage the fires. I mean, you know, at the end, at the end of the day, when you're when you're the top dog, it all lays in your hands at some point or another, whether you're involved in it that day or not. What's uh, with the race being kind of the high point, right? Like I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it since you said you were going to do it. What uh, what's some of the short term challenges that you've had with one off, right? Like we all kind of know it's hard to get people, and but you you've done this a few times before, so you got what are some of the challenges you didn't see coming this time? Oh, man. Um, I guess the biggest challenge I didn't see coming this time was, uh, you know, we have, uh, you know, an, an issue getting an ambulance, man. That was a real struggle, uh, you know, just, I guess, problems with other management there, or, you know, whatever, whatever it is. I, I, I didn't ask. I don't care, you know, but we had a lot of challenges there. Thought we had it figured out once. Ended up having to, you know, try and go again. And finally, you know, uh, the the local guys there franklin public safety they're going to take care of it so so we got that uh, you know under control that was probably our biggest challenge of that and and food you know i man i hate and every race promoter will tell you man concessions that's where the money's at right. they've lost their mind i'll go ahead and tell you they've lost their mind if, they, if they, they're making their money in the concession stand then they don't they're not doing a good job everywhere else <laughs> and i and i'm not throwing anybody under the bus but if that's where they think they're making right. their money they're not very good at what they do they're not very good at selling tickets right. i'll just tell you because concessions is a huge headache for not very much money yeah that's surprising I've lost i, I money would think a people lot of times. more times on the concessions yes. than anything else i mean you know you just once you start figuring everything in you know what i mean if you just base it off of that day and don't figure anything else in well you probably come out pretty good but if you're you know if you're going to base it you know, off of everything and take every amount, every dollar, every penny, and that's how I figure everything. Sure. You, you, you're not coming out very good on that. Interesting. I would have and, thought that would have been a good win. And, you know, funny enough, you know, here we said on, you know, Monday, I don't know when this will go up, but, uh -huh. you know, I still don't have food in place for this weekend. Yeah, but so. that's still your style, though. I don't think people under... <laughs> no, like, last minute is definitely right. my style. I actually think you probably work better last minute because you don't paralyze yourself with the ideas. Right. Like, I oh, think yeah. you just start firing and then you win. Otherwise, I overthink everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Me you too. Know. I'm not the same. I mean, I'm completely the same. We what? just do what we do. And, uh, you know, uh, some people like us, some people don't like us. And I, I like them all. I, <laughs> whether they like us or they don't like us, they cuss us, they t I don't care. It doesn't make any difference. To me. Right. I mean, I know they're looking. So right. They're good for my advertisers. Right. You know, maybe they'll sure. buy a chassis, or maybe they'll buy, you know, get their wiring body done, or something. Wire, right. AR bodies or five star, whoever. You know what I mean? Right. Sure. You know, that's just that's what it, that's what it takes. I think that's probably the hardest thing, huh? For you, race twenty two wise. I mean, cultivating funds to get people to pay sure. you to advertise for reviews is. I don't think people understand the, how hard that really is. No, and, and you know we're so niche. You know 100%. I mean? we are, you know we're literally covering thirteen, fourteen <laughs> racetracks. You know one series. Um, what do we got? Know. Twenty manufacturers total, right? I know I'm not yeah, dogging. I'm just saying, like, right? That's difficult. No, and and you know everybody wants to be exclusive, so you know, and then when they can't, they're going to spend as much money, and it's just such a balance. It's it's one of those things that, you know, I feel like you know. Everybody knows Race 22 is the place to go to get anything late model stock car wise. Sure. I mean, and I'm, that's not me saying that. That's a, I, you could say I'm, I've said I, that. I don't. I don't think there's anywhere. I, I sit down all the time and I go, well, man, where can I go learn something about late model stock car racing? Nowhere really. That's it. I mean, you know, I, I love what you're doing. You know, with the podcast, Tyler Williams. I love what he's doing with the podcast. Yeah. The Bologna Burger guys. I love what they're doing with the podcast. It, that's all good stuff, and that's all stuff I'm not creating, so I get to enjoy it. Right. You know what I mean? Um. But, you know, we're we're pretty much by ourselves when it comes to the news. I mean, Speed 51 will hit, you know, a race here, a race right. there. But, you know, they're, they're, I, and I mean this no disrespect to them. They don't care about, you know, Friday Night at King Sport. You know what I mean? They right. could care less about that. Their news this morning of, uh, I, I was, I, I like to listen. So I Absolutely. had my uh, earbuds in this morning and I was packing some boxes and I, I listened to their their deal this morning and the, it, the label soccer coverage was oh, yeah. legitimately yeah. four senses. Yeah. And I'm... I'm okay with that, right? I, right. I'm right. interested to see how that changes with NASCAR's involvement and things like that. Well, I mean, you know, the RTA buying, RTA, buying that sorry. deal out. Yes. You know, that's, 
<laughs> I don't know what that's going to lead to. You know, that's kind of a, one of those things that everybody, when that happened, they're like, well, what, what's going on? You know what I mean? What, why are they doing this? You know, what, what, are, what, what are they going to get out of this? Well, I don't think anybody knows what they're going to get out of this. You know what I mean? So. I don't know what they're going to get out of it either. I, I think that they did a good job if they wanted to control what media they thought they had access right. to. From the outside in, I think it looked like a solid play. And, right. and and really from a national place probably was right uh, like, I'm sure I, I'm sure there's a lot of things involved there yeah. um, they usually you know. know what they're doing oh yeah absolutely what's next PRI well, show well I mean next you know me go through the rest of my divisions you know uh, stock fours U cars Chargers there you go. man my Chargers I'm really excited about that race you know you got guys coming from Orange County um, you know several of the locals at Franklin County you know didn't have anywhere to race this past year you know because they really weren't racing. Um, you know, those guys are coming back, you know, a guy like Jimmy Mullins, who's, you know, was a superstar in late model stock car racing yeah. through the nineties and the early two thousands, you know, he's, you know, he'll be there in chargers and I believe he'll be there in late models if they get the car done, you know, so, I mean, there's a lot of, and, and a thousand to win any car race. That's the, I'm telling you, that's my, I think that's going to be the best, dude. Oh man, it's going to be great. And, you know, and I don't, you know, I have no clue how many is going to be there for that. Cause I don't do pre entries for them. Um, but. Tell us about your other pre-entry thing. I've had like 60 people call about getting in the any car. Right? Yes. So it could be really, really big. Um, as far as entries go, I mean. That was awesome. I liked your online entry. Right. On, right. I think that was amazing. Well, and, and you know, uh, I just thought about it. I was like, man, I need to get entries in so I can have an idea of who to kind of promote. You know what I mean? Um, and at the same time, you know, I didn't want to, I really don't want to, I don't like charging entry fees for an event if I don't have to. So I thought, all right, I'll put an entry on it, but if you pre-enter, you don't have to pay an entry Which fee. I thought was amazing. Um, did it we've, convert? We've got almost 70 total entries right now in those, nice. in those five divisions. Uh, the bulk of them coming in the mod fours and the late models. So, uh, our other divisions will be, you know, 10, 11, 12 cars a piece and one of those, but I feel really good about you know that overall i mean i i think we're gonna have a great you know it's franklin county's three-eighths mile high banked you know i mean it's just that place is gonna put on a show no matter what right we have. people with emotion i mean and honestly it's where i go back to saying you know 12 late models i mean honestly 12 late miles is about where you need to be before you you know have some issues there you know what i mean yeah. um you know because it can go bad you get know too I mean? many it, it's just a small little racetrack and it, it can go it can go haywire in a heartbeat yeah, but as long as you're recording it, it could be cool. Well, sure. I mean, you, <laughs> but you know, you never want to see anybody tear up the cars. Which you know, luckily, you know, through the last you know couple of years that like I, uh, you know, when my I guys get eat when people tear up right, cars. Sure. Just I just want I, to be clear. Yeah, listen, I understand. I, I, don't, I understand. I don't. I don't wish my customer to tear right, up, but right. like poor, my, my poor guys, Thomas Bean, you're trying to get him <laughs> <laughs> trash. This weekend, that is so not right. true. That is not true by any means. I mean, but you know, you know him coming up. You know, it was really cool. You know, he won the race out there in yeah. East Carolina. You know, as controversial as that, you know, was wow. uh, what a, what a mess. I mean, look at all these all these big shows at the end have just turned into a cluster. Bad. Except for Mar so Martinsville was bad last year, and everything else was good. And this year, Martinsville was pretty good. I mean, people said it was boring, but it was pretty it was good boring. as far as you know, tame. Yeah. Uh, other than you know your boy flipping down the back straight away. That there. was big. That for was sure. severely sure. big. <laughs> um, so, but all the rest of these shows have been you know pretty much you know shit shows yes, for lack of better for word. Sure. Um, you know, but I, ours is not going to be. I hope, but you never know. So. I think Franklin County brings out the best in people. It does. It does. I mean, you know, somebody somebody asked me one time. Said, "Man, I've seen a video on YouTube of guys fighting there. Does that happen every week?" <laughs> No, not every week. I mean, Ish. The, Ish. the racetrack itself is just you have to be up on the wheel, and things happen really fast, and it brings out, like you said, the best in everybody. Right. I mean, you know, funny enough, we almost had a fight in practice Saturday. There you go. Because a car cut down on another car as he was trying to pass them. They're down there jawing in the pits. It was, you know, I, I was thinking, man, can y'all save that for next Sunday? Right. <laughs> I need to hold up. Pull out my phone. <laughs> Give me eight days here. Give me eight days. So uh, that's awesome. I think uh, I think you'll have a great. The weather doesn't look like it's going to be that bad. Yeah, so. fifty seven, partly cloudy. I think we're going to. Right, I think that's there. perfect, right yeah. in there for it. Our, I mean, there's like a thirty five percent chance of rain, which means there's sixty five percent chance that we're racing. So I'll take that. One hundred percent. So um, all one day. Yeah, all one day. I mean, you can come Saturday and test and, if you and want or no. But you know, we got like four or five hours there to test on Saturday. And 
you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm over testing, man. I'm over practice. I, I think a lot it. of people are. But honestly, like, you know, we had the practice schedule two weeks ago, um, you know, got, you know, 13 or 14 cars there, you know, come up and practice. And, man, the thing I noticed was, you know, where the track hadn't been ra- uh, raced on much or anything, man, there's just no rubber buildup. There's no nothing. <laughs> the track is so green. That's awesome. So that's why we had another test this past weekend. Good we got some more cars down. out there. And then on that Saturday. So I think by Sunday we'll have a really good, uh, really good track for people to race on. Do you charge people to test? Yeah, yeah, but well, ten dollars per person. I, awesome. I don't think you can go anywhere else. No, that. right? That, that's amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. ten dollars. I mean, you know, and I, and I mean, I hate to use this term, but you know, all these tracks are raping. That probably people, paid for the you know insurance. I mean? <laughs> yeah, the ten dollars yeah. probably paid for the yeah, test day pro- insurance. Yeah, probably. I don't know if I don't think he covered it this past weekend, but you know, <laughs> that was a late addition, so we'll be all right. You know, that's awesome. What do you? Uh, big changes they say coming in late mile stock car racing. Do you see it? I. Ain't, I Tell me about it. I didn't see that on race twenty two. No, I didn't either. That's why I wondered. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, man. I've heard rumors of different tracks opening, all kind of different things. It sounds well, like there's sure. a lot of effort trying to go into it. Yeah, I mean, you know, the hot rumor, you know, on on Facebook's been, you know, Tri County, you know, opening up. We'll see if that happens. We I, will. I don't know. Um, you know, and there's always a lot of things. You know, I'm, I, I don't. You know, I I hate to, you know put out rumors as if they're facts so you know this is a rumor but you know anderson may not be nascar sanctioned has been a rumor see um you know southern nationals cutting back their schedule so they may not be nascar sanctioned east carolina may not be at nascar sanctioned uh carteret may be nascar sanctioned so there's a a rumor i heard tri county was going to be nascar sanctioned well, I mean, yeah, that is part of the rumor that I heard. So, you know, <laughs> that's amazing, the I, rumor. You, you just, you, man. See what I mean? You can't get them to, that's why I try to squeeze them into it. We get yeah, them I mean, you know, I I, I think that uh, there's a lot, there's always changes, you know, going on. I mean, you know, you look at Philip Morris, you know. I was leaving, just going to bring that up. You know, leaving Forest Rentals, um, you know, they say he's done racing. I, I don't believe that. I think we'll see him uh, somewhere Pretty soon, probably testing South Boston, Motor Mile, Dominion. Uh, I got a feeling he'll probably run for the Dominion uh, Championship this coming up year. I, I don't know anything, you know, for a fact. Um, but I just feel Experience. like that's probably what's going to happen. Experience, I mean, does, yeah. You know, now, but but I will say, you know, every so often, I mean, if you look back at his career, every so often he's, you know, bailed for a year and then come back. And, you know, when he comes back, he's not very good for a little while. And then, bam, you know, all it's of a good. sudden he's, he's the king again. Right. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I don't, who knows what'll happen with that? It's big. I mean, but you know, I, I don't know if he'll race at motor mile, you know, after getting his butt kicked by Mike Looney last year, I don't know God. if he'll go back. Hey, he said, he's, it. I know, Listen, he I know, said it. I, I know, I, mean, I, I know, he did. I, I'm not, uh, I'm not putting words it's into it. I mean, this won that many races is very difficult. Oh my God. You know. I mean, when he said that in an interview at Dominion, I was like, that, wow. that's a statement yeah, right there. I mean, for, sure. for Mike Looney, he, he, he needs to uh, take that quote and uh, blow it up and put it on his wall in his garage. But, but I think it also shows him changing and maturing more and more sure, and more as sure. a racer, right? Sure. Like, I, I, I kind of applaud it more. The early days, I he wasn't necessarily a, a favorite of mine, but I, I'm intrigued right. more as he goes, just from an outside perspective. Ah. I don't deal with him on a day-to-day basis, right? So right, that's not sure. the win. But sure. I, And I'm definitely not Thomas Beam, who loves him. Right. <laughs> Thomas Beam loves right. him. Right. right? Like, so... I'm I'm neither one of those, but I I find it intriguing the way he's handled himself, especially this year. I th- thought right. through adversity, through all kind of things, it was very classy. Listen, we have not reached out and have any deal. I'm just saying right, that right. I think that right. I think he did a good job uh, sure. uh, at taking sure. a a real enlightened perspective on all the things that were going on. Yeah, I mean, it'd have been easy to freak out on a lot of that stuff. I mean. Uh, to me, I mean, you know, and I know this, you know, sounds Thomas Beanish, you know what I mean? I know he's a super fan and, and all, but I mean, you take a look at what Philip did and how close he got to the national title, given all the circumstances, you know what I mean? His crew chief's gone, you know, for the yeah. entire season. What, two races he was there? Yeah. Um, and, you know, even, well, no, he wasn't even there two races. He was only there for the race he got thrown out because he left during the first race. But Travis Bird so, stepped in and did a good Travis, job for him. Tra- hey, and, won, and a race. won a race, Yeah, man. good for him, man. I mean, it's not very often that the backup drives Driver, you know, that was goes good and wins for him. Race. That was good. Yeah, but Travis is a badass. I mean, he's he's a great driver, and uh, man, uh, you know, if a late model team's ever looking for a guy to put behind the wheel, that's one that you could consider. An yeah, another guy though grew up in the sport. His right. family's right. father was an unbelievable fabricator, right, yeah. and good yeah. at a lot of different things, not just fabrication, yeah. but sure. you know. Um, so it's intriguing to think that he would be anything but 
great. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, sure. Uh, sure. So he's he's, he's been I mean, doing that too. Spending a year working with Philip Moore, <laughs> he's got to be an even better crew chief now because you know a guy that has that kind of experience that you know can just teach you so much. And he he kind of talked about that when we you know when I did the article on him winning the race up here at Dominion, he talked about you know what he's learned from Philip, and I, I'm sure that made him that much better of a racer too. I, I gotta believe. I, I believe that's the way all of it works. Do you? Uh, I've seen NASCAR's reached out to me a couple times. Yeah. I haven't seen them yet. They've reached out. Yeah. Surprising. What's that all about? I don't know. <laughs> they uh they they wanted to check check out check out some of my car dimensions. It's probably all this cheating you're doing down there. That's all I can <laughs> figure. You know? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh no, I, I'm I'm proud. I uh, mm-hmm. that they're uh We'll see what comes of what, but I right. I appreciate their the, like making some attempts. You know, pretty much all winter long, you and I just got on this radio shows and bitched about how we couldn't get anybody to do anything. And I <laughs> I really applaud that. I think right. some have right, like we've I, I gotten agree. some craziness. I'm on you real hard about bringing the radio show back. Now that you don't have to go to a race every weekend, we can try right. to figure out a, a decent thing for it. Um, right. I got you sucked into coming to the PRI show. I think we're gonna get a lot of good insights yeah. about what's going on uh, maybe ar bodies even has something out by then yeah they're supposed to all right supposed to be there i guess i've been hearing a lot about that but i haven't seen anything so i don't right. i haven't uh, I, they, they must be showing the picture to somebody because they're they've been approved by several uh series super the super late model version of it a straight rail version of it has been approved by several series already so they must be showing it somewhere that's all i can tell you that's awesome i ain't seen it though i ain't either mm. i might call them i might hang up from here and call them yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't we should know. call them live on air. I mean, I, I don't know why they got to treat us like that. <laughs> we wouldn't show nobody. <laughs> right. It's not like I would put it up. Uh, I mean, I would. But, I mean, yeah, I, no, I, I know you I wouldn't. Would. That's you what would. I meant to say. For sure, you would. <laughs> what, uh, you didn't bring your wife today. I'm a little sad about that. She was the one that I really wanted to talk to. Yeah, well. Tell me uh, how much she does at Race 22. I think she does a lot more than people give, uh, give her credit for. They give you all the pub, and I think she does tons of the work. Well, you I'm let just, her kind of. I remember back in the day, she didn't do that, and I don't mean that no, badly, no. right? But you. Well, I don't know. She's always. The, it's just different. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's always. It's a, everything's always evolving. You know, we. Uh, you know, she does a lot. Uh, I, I I tell people all the time. You know, I'm the face, and as you can see, an ugly one of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, but you know, she's you know behind the scenes, and you know the advertising aspect. You know, she's always working on that, and uh, you know, without that, you know, I, I don't think we'd be in business. You yeah. know, now, obviously, you know, I, I used to do the sales and, you know, my follow up game is pretty terrible. So, uh, you know, and, and she's a whole lot better at that and she's better, you know, and they'd much rather talk to her than they would me because, you know. I, I think a lot of people would probably like to advertise with you. Tell them a little demographic like you, you crush it. North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee, right? <laughs> You know, I, I I mean, I could probably give you all the numbers in the world, but the number one thing that matters if you're in late model stock car racing at all, I don't. Why would you advertise anywhere else? Well, I, I, but that's not the person that I think you can really benefit. I think there's so many people in this local regional area that that right. that that's their customer. Sure. But sure, they they don't look at, at going through you to try to grab that customer. Does that make sense? The one thing that I've always thought would be the best thing for any race team or driver or racetrack is to take and use us as their activation you know like nascar you yes. know when they have t- they have their tv package well you know if if you're a sponsor of nascar whether you go and spend activation money with nbc sports or fox or whatever racetracks drivers they haven't been smart enough to do that yet and we've tried to kind of push that along but people just haven't got there and if they ever get there i mean i, I and I, it'll be good for us obviously for sure but i think it'll be really good for them because uh, you know then they'll start to see and if we have we've had a track or two you know do that you know dominion did that with uh, one of their sponsors this past year and i think it worked out pretty good for them um you know and 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 you know the thing about it is people ask me all this uh, this is a good you know format for me to you know tell this sure but people ask me all the time well why do you go to such and such race or why do you do this and why do you have stories on the well, well do i have to buy a story i don't know if anybody's ever bought a story okay if they have i didn't get the money for it so <laughs> I, I, my, i'm gonna talk to my writers and see why you know i'm not getting at least That's a cut awesome. um but your writers meaning Corey or Corey writes <laughs> no i don't think so uh, i don't think you could read it anyway uh, at this point um 
But Poor uh, fella. <laughs> we just I talked just, to him a little while ago. I just wish he was here. <laughs> I do too. Because <laughs> it's a whole lot more fun to rag on hey, him when man. he's in person. Um, but, you know, the, the thing about it is, you know, people ask us that all the time. And why do you go to his race? Well, I'll tell you why I go to the race. Because we got to pay to do this somehow. You right. know what I mean? So if, you know, a guy that races at Dominion says, hey, man, you know, like for you to come up, you know, what do, what we got to do for you to get you to come up? Well, it, it takes us X amount of dollars to operate a week. Sure. So the closer I can get to that on a weekend, you know, the more likely we are to be somewhere. You know what I mean? That's that's why you know we spent a lot of time at at, works. at Motor Mile this past year. Not not necessarily because they were giving us a lot of money, but because you know, the racers wanted us there. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. And if you want Race Twenty Two to come cover your races, then Race Twenty Two will come cover your races. And I mean, it, you know, obviously we can only you know go so far because well, we have to be two a or small three people fee for sure. But, you know, it isn't expensive. You're going to get something out of it, whether it's exposure for your driver, exposure for your sponsor, whatever it is, you're going to get that. Um, you know, I, you know, sometimes it's hard to get people to understand that. Um, but people ask me all the time, and I'm individually, you know, answering them, and that's just, you know, the answer. To do you still do web design and hero cards and all that, or are you moving away from it? I, I did a lot of hero cards this year. Um, you know, I, I got a guy that does some of the design work for me when I'm busy, and... Um, I haven't designed many websites. It's, that's a that's a time taking process. You know, if people think you know if you charge five hundred dollars or two thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars, they're like, man, you're making a lot of money. Well, not really. No. You're gonna spend two three weeks developing it, and then you're gonna spend every week somebody yeah. wants something done to it. So, so however much, just so we're clear, however much you, I did my own website at one point because of this man. <laughs> whatever, whatever you they want paid, pay them. It's worth right. it. Like, I'm glad I did it that time, but my gosh, I, I gained right. so much respect for how much, really, how hard the work is. And, and, there's and that's some, with no coding, right? Like, that's knowing nothing, taking right. it from scratch. Right. And there's some great people out there, um, you know, doing doing websites. I don't, I don't do much of it anymore. I would, um, but I just, you know, it's got to be, uh, you know, got to be a deal that's, you know, good for, good for us and them, you know what I mean? What about the next race after yours? What do you believe? Big numbers, what the Thanksgiving class? Yes, I don't know, man. That uh, I didn't even know about it until last week. But uh, that format change, you know, with their segments yeah. and how they're breaking up the money, I don't know. I don't know what that's going to do. You know, VHT. I, know, uh, I, I will say, did he you put know, VHT down? I don't know if he ever got. I it saw down that or Facebook not. post, by the way. I liked it. I, I, I know I, he was planning to. I liked that he dropped it on there. That was nice. You know, I think that uh, I think that Mike, you know, tries a lot of things, um, and sometimes trying a lot of things runs people off yeah. you know what i mean even though it's good for the sport you know you need to try something different the format itself is good because you know so many more people have an opportunity to get money but it's also bad because you know you know that the bigger guys you know that are going to really spend money in an event like that yeah um you know they go well oh, gosh i'm gonna have to win this and then they're inverting and they're doing it man i don't know if it ain't gonna be worth it for me to I, I, I was just getting ready to say i actually don't think they want to do that i think they want to like i think well, it's hard I mean, to pull them it, at post post Char charlie long told me one time he said you know i used to get mad at promoters you know because they'd be like uh you know they'd be like well don't stink up my show and he's like what's well, my job that's what i'm here to do i, I want to go out and sit on a pole and lead every lap and and he said you know and i've realized in the last few years well that's not good that's ain't not nobody wants to see that right. but me so you know and, and that's one thing that racers have uh they've started to come around on but they really need to work on coming around further. It's a show. Motor Miles deal, you know, did the redraw and, and all that. And I think they need to tweak that a little bit. But that was good. And, you know, starting Mike Looney in the back. I mean, if it hadn't started Mike Looney in the back. I mean, he already took the lead in 12 laps anyways. Okay? I mean, you know, and I feel. They should have put him a lap down. I feel sorry for everybody that raced against him because it was embarrassing. I mean, it was bad. Gosh. I mean, it was really, really bad. I mean, he just kicked their butt bad. But, you know. I mean, I feel you... sorry for everybody that raced against him, my man. <laughs> oh my gosh, man! I mean, you know, and he's good. He's really good at motor mile. I mean, he's he's really good there. And but you know, but they did a lot of things to try to keep him from just you know leading every lap. And I think that's great because that's one problem that motor mile had in the past, and that was what they were trying to work to fix was the racing there was pretty stale. Yeah. And I the racing this past year was the best I ever seen it there. Um, now, granted, I wasn't there, and you know, it it's heyday. You know. Sure. Um, but. I mean, it was pretty. It was pretty good. People in my business, the hot topic right now, for the people that have been 
uh, coming in or calling. Is, Which business? Would that be racing? Yeah, the performance or, center. You know, yeah, yeah, performance yeah, center okay. right now. Um, the intriguing part to me is everybody seems to be really worried about rules right now. Right. right which is standard for this right, time right. of year. And Well, it, we should already have the NASCAR rules. We should already be out. <laughs> well, we should have a lot of things, but that isn't really the way it works. So... My question is, do you have you heard any rumblings of new rules, changes, addresses that are coming? Well, they said something about a new body. I don't know. I've heard something about that. No. Um, we no, all know that. But, yeah, but listen, uh, the, the, but I don't do expect we, a lot right? of... Like, we don't really. That that's You're kind of wrong there, well, we, right? Because we really don't know about well, that. Well, we do know the new body's legal. Fine. That's it. I mean, it, but what else do you need to know? Right. I mean, it, it's legal. I mean... What's our know? option? I'd like to know what AR has. That's it. Well, the, it'll be out pretty soon. I think so. that's sad that we don't know that yet. I'm not I, talking AR. I just think I wish, I would. It would take the heat off of me. Right. Does that sure. make sense? It would. Sure. I'm saying that for a selfish reason. It uh, it definitely brings a little added layer of rub to me because the right. customer wants right. it now. So I'm, I may be pre- projecting that on everybody else. Sure. But from a rule standpoint, uh, you know, I've heard a few little things here and there. Nothing, nothing major except for, you know, they're talking about, uh, maybe giving. Giving something to uh, the spec motor, yeah. um, you know, feel like it's down a little bit, and I, you know, I mean, yeah. we need to get to two motors. That's what we need to do. We got our two motors. We got the Harrington and we got the Ford. And you that's know, it. So let's let's get there. Be done. You know what I mean? Right. Just going to make because I mean they're going to make the move eventually because they can control those two because parts come from single sources. Sure. So let's just get it done. Let's get it over with. Yes, it's going to cost people money. Yes, it might have a racer sit at home for a week or two. Let's get it done. Still allows the other third-party engine builders that are not, I right. guess, let's sure. say second party, maybe whatever, right? Like right. it allows them to still have a viable option. I, right. I can see some other real heavy hitters in late models. Like if you were going to tell that to me that you had to have a standard car, right? I'd probably fight back a little against you. Sure. So I, I can understand them at least having options. I guess sure. if I had to buy a kit that was somebody else's and put it together, I guess I could do it, but it wouldn't be nearly right. as. The Rankins of the world; those guys seem very, very busy right now. Sure, sure, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think uh, you know Mike, you know, has done a really good job of uh, promoting his business, and you know he's used Race Twenty Two to do that. Uh, <laughs> you set me up good there, yeah, even though you sure. didn't know you were going to. Yeah. Um, you know, but I mean, that's. I mean, I, I I talked to one engine builder a few weeks ago, and he said, "Man, I've I've, I've never been more dead. Now I ain't got nothing to do." And uh, I, I just laughed to myself. You know, I'm like, "Well, I know why. Right? You don't do a good job." Right. You know, you may do a good job building a motor, right. but you don't do a good job promoting yourself. And if you don't promote yourself, it ain't going to do you any good. You know, it's just Start like... your own stupid show. Right. Whatever, <laughs> listen, listen, whatever you got to do, man, whatever you got to do. I, I, I mean, listen, but, you know, and this is... I just wish I could put half of the stuff that I hear on here, but I would go to jail. Right? Like half the th- That's what I mean. Half the things, the conversations that people right. tell me or people... Right. It's amazing. They, did but, they use the term off the record? <laughs> like that never happened to me <laughs> for yeah, for a long, long time. That never happened to me. And then when we started doing that show in here again, it, <laughs> it happened. Then people like people that had talked to me about all kind of things in the past, right. where I now they don't all of a sudden know <laughs> they don't want to talk right. about right. whatever. Uh, it's just uh, part it, of the it's game. Different. It's it different. It is. You know, being uh, being a part of media, you know, people try to avoid you find, finding out things. Well, th- there's a, a subset of people that make sure that you know everything. Like, I've got I've got four or five people, and obviously I ain't going to name them by name, but I've got four or five people, and they're in all in different areas, and I pretty much know. That's how people go, man, how'd y'all get that story? Well, it's just starting to happen to me. Such and such knew it. Just, start, I mean, just so. starting. I don't, I don't have near the street cred you do, but just it's just starting to... to uh, to pull into it. Well, the the funny thing is, is before you started doing this, you knew things that would have been great news. Oh, and you never shared them with me, so I'm pretty I, pissed off about there that. There was a lot of. I, I did. See, I the thing I didn't realize is I thought it was you against the world. I didn't think we were supposed to tell anybody any right, of this stuff. Right, right. I, and most of the people that told me those things. I don't think they surely wanted anybody else to know. No, do you? No. Right? Like I think that was no. The they end. usually don't want people to find out as quick as they do. Tell tell us about your staff at Race Twenty Two. Um, like I don't think people realize how much you guys kind of just do it yourself, and your staff really trudges through and tries to do everything they can do. They and they they kind of get the thankless gig of it, right? Like right, they right. they their name isn't on the article. I mean, it's on the article that they wrote, but you know, they right. a lot of work has gone into it. So what sure. what about them? What about the guys that help you there? 
I've got I've got a couple you know really great guys that uh, you know do a lot of uh, do a lot of stuff for us. Uh, you know Brandon White. You know he did uh, Myrtle Beach's updates this past yeah. weekend. Corey did the photos. Um, you know and Corey's you know you know he used to write. But now he's, he's pretty much into the. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. Corey, <laughs> Corey is norm of race twenty two. He's just right. like that guy there at the end of the right. bar waiting. Right. Just have a few show photos, people flipping him off. Right. That's it. Yeah, everybody wants to flip him off. Yeah, I mean, because I've had people tell me, "Yeah, I can't wait to see him. I'm gonna flip right. him off." I'm like, nice. Whatever. Right. Um, but you know, and then Andy, you know, Marky helps us, and uh, you know, he's, you know, he's been busy, you know, working full time for uh, Carteret, uh, you know, so he hasn't been able to do as many races as he has in the past. But, you know, he's. Uh, he he does a lot, and uh, you know, main thing with with Andy is, you know, man, if something happens to the website, whew, you know, I freak out. It's happening. Like I know how to build a website, but if we have problems, I got no clue. <laughs> the repair you know effort, I mean? got no clue. Coding, no it's clue whatsoever. You know what I mean? Which I mean, I, I got a little bit of a clue on that, but I can't fix it. Right. You know what I mean? I can't go in and read a line of code and go, oh, this is what's wrong. Right. Here's you know the problem. I mean? right. Whereas I can just mess. Parentheses you know, are in the wrong place. Hey man, look at this. <laughs> oh, right. you just you did this. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So you know, it's really good. good. You know, and and otherwise it's just you know a couple of photographers you know that uh, that help us throughout the year. And you know, but that's that's the two, three core guys there. Uh, you know, and then it's me, Kim, and my nephew Jaden. You know, and that's that's pretty much it. That's awesome. You know, we get you know Will from you know King Sport. He helps us out every now and then. And you know, Donna Mullins from uh, uh, Dominion. You know, she helps us out some. You know, so I got little you know people that help here and there. But for the most part, that's you know, it's just three or four of us. You know, what's the uh, what's the 2020 schedule for Moonshine Productions or promotions or uh, what? What do you got? Do you need more plans? You got four or five, six of these. What are you What are you thinking? Um, I don't know, man. It promoting is what I want to do. Um, I don't really, if, if I had, if I had the money to, uh, to do what I wanted to do, you know what I mean? I'd be, man, I'd be promoting a bit. I, we'd have a 25,000 to win late mile stock show every weekend. Okay. Somewhere every weekend. We did. We'd literally have Martinsville every weekend. You know what I mean? Could you sustain that? Sure. Absolutely. Whew. Absolutely. You just got to build it and work on it, but you know, obviously, you you know, many things would have not to change now. in order right. to like, sustain. Not now, right? Like you could sustain it in a few years, right? Um, I understand. But uh, you know, I mean, it's like the the car store. They've done a great job. Done a great job. Um, they they have a great product. They have they get out there to more people than anybody else. I if mean, if you think about it, though, they're really the only game in town. They are. I mean, you, they are. You're right. Um, I, I gave them a lot of props early on in the year, and I caught lots of crap for it. So I was sucking up and I was doing whatever. So I really right. took a hard look at it and listened to the other side and got kind of humbled a little bit just because if you want to do a touring type thing, what else are you going to do? Sure. I mean, that's it. Yeah. Um, there ain't even really a limited series like that. Well, Besides maybe Jeff's six. I mean, you got Jeff Myers, you know, deal, which is, you know, really dumbed down limited deal. Uh, which is good. That's I good. love it. It's I like cheap. what he's got going. Um, you know, and then you have the Hackett's, uh, you know, you have their program and, um, you know, some people love the Hackett's, some people hate them. Um, you know, me, me and Renee, we get along pretty good. You know, we, we may cuss each other every now and then, but we get along pretty good. So I, I was actually intrigued while you went there. I still have time. <laughs> what, what did you, uh, what, what do you think about the Hickory thing? Uh, are you referring to Bert? Yes. Know, getting disqualified. That's all there was. What else was there? That was it. I don't know. What did you think about that? I don't know. Congrats to Andy Sice. I agree. You know, what a good dude. What a good mm -hmm. dude. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know, man. Um, everybody's cheating. I think so. You know, everybody's just Except not getting me. caught. I'm the only guy not cheating. cheating. You're cheating. They were trying to find it. At they were. <laughs> they <laughs> were. <laughs> you know. Wow. My, that was one of my favorite moments. I come over there and, you know, they're telling everybody, don't take photos. I, I was I was hoping they'd look at me and tell me not to take photos. I say, you better get that car covered because well, I, I think, ain't stopping. I started laughing, right? I'm like, hey, they said not to take photos. You were like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, okay. And I think you actually hit go live record right there. I was like, wow, that, that escalated quickly and didn't go in the right direction. I mean, you know, uh, I, they're there to do a job. Listen, and the, I, the I, officials are there to do a job. I'm there to do a job. We're all there to do a job. Post Ace, I'm, I'm actually really happy that that went down. To be real honest with you, I mean, it kind of opened up an area of communication between the me as a builder and them, and right. I, I think that was something that needed to be done. I, I as much as I give Lynn 
terrible terribleness about things. I I think that was one of the things he did well. I, I think. Right. Listen, a car flips that hard. You want to see what happened. I, right. Sure. I, I I I wanted to see what happened. I mean. Right. Like. I would have been really disappointed if he hadn't looked at it. Yeah, you I know? would have too, especially as hard of a lick as that was right on the cage. I mean, that was a good one. I mean, because at the end of the day, we can sit around and talk about motors, and we can talk about bodies, and we can talk about everything else. But if people are dying in these cars, yeah. then it's over. Yeah. I'd, I don't think people, I'm telling you, I don't think people understand how much anxiety that causes me. Oh, like, I, like just, you, I mean, your business could be over just that quick. And oh, I don't sure. care about the business portion of it, to be 100% honest. I could give two shits. Right. I care about someone's life is done you did everything you thought you knew humanly possible how right. do you not bear that burden forever i mean oh, for sure. i mean it's I, like when i was a little kid uh my dad had a guy working for him and we were just having a casual conversation one day and uh you know he he's telling me about uh you know what he was doing and and all and and he told me that uh he told me that he he had hit a guy on the interstate one day. A guy stepped out in front of him intentionally to, uh, you know, try to kill himself. And, of course, he killed himself. You know, he hit him with his car. And and uh, he told me, he said, man, he said, you don't know what that does to your life. He said, I had, he said, I literally had nothing to do with it except for I was driving and he used my car at, to kill himself. He said, but, you know, he said, I, I live with it every forever. day. He said, he said, I, he said I, I became an alcoholic. He said, you know, so all these things, you know, which he was recovering at the time. And, uh you know, so something like that could, you know, completely change your life. I mean, it's, it's it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want people to get confused. I, I don't, I care about this business, but I could give two shits when right. it's compared to somebody else. You know what I mean? Right. I could right. never. Sure. That would be the most devastational thing for me was always, I was afraid that my son would get hurt or right. I would, that, right. that was my, I had just, what, in the spring car time that I grew up, I know this makes me sound old, I'm only 41, but like we didn't we, we lost a couple right like quick right like bad eldora people dying kevin gobrick dying like right. it it was a fairly standard thing early at 16 i'm going to these people that i'm shaking it, their hand and it's talking almost to them. still standard in sprint car right i mean it was a it was just a bad deal and and i think that's something that's always stuck with me so much right about just not wanting right. to go that craziness i, I mean i still right. want it to be awesome but i don't think people sometimes when they build these things realize that like you don't need it till you needed it right sure, sure. <laughs> if it ain't sure. there it's too late that's right so that's right. um i've been hearing a lot about cup teams and and their scaling employees and and things happening here there how do you think that affects us here on the bottom well i'm sure it'll bring some really talented people down to I think so uh, too. work in short track racing which isn't necessarily a good thing I, we got enough influence from uh, that level as it is. I mean, uh, that's why the cars have gotten to where they are. That's why they're ex as expensive as they are. Um, you know, so I, I don't know that that's a good thing, but I guess it's a good thing for somebody, some millionaire somewhere. I guess. I guess. I don't. I don't. I don't know any uh, any young guns that you uh, have made it through the season that you were like, damn, I thought they did a great job. Man, you put me on the spot. Not really. You, you had you know, a neat Young Guns thing um, for a while there. You know, you yeah, get to see a lot yeah. of them. What uh, what young guy are you looking for big things out of this next year? You know, it used to be easy for me to answer that because I, I, I you know, and it's bad. This is a really bad thing for me to say, but, I, you know, being inside of the this deal for so long, mm -hmm. you know, I know it's m so much about money that I don't even – like when a talented guy comes up now, I'm like, yeah, his dad's rich. It's right. Like, you know what I mean? No. I, I, and it's so bad to feel that way. It's so, so bad to feel that way. <laughs> um, you know, that uh, Daniel Silvestri kid, that's when it comes to mind, though. Um, did a really good job at uh, South Boston with uh, Sellers. I mean, you know, that, that's one that comes to my mind, you know, right off the bat. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Chase Dixon had a really rough year. Uh, I was really <laughs> expecting big things out of him, and he had like the worst year. Right. Um, I think that's you know. a big step. I talked to him a little bit. Yeah. I, but I think it's really good for him. You know, it's just like uh, you know, I, you know, I, and I can only go back to you know what I remember when I was really you know you know into that you know into you know trying to bring them up, have websites, sure. doing all that sure. stuff. So I was working with these guys. You know, Brendan Poole uh, was one of them. You know, that I super super talented. I mean, obviously he's shown that. Um, you know, but as he was coming up, you know. 
it, you know, he would he would have so many. And his dad, you know, like they broke a transmission in qualifying at uh, Lonesome Pine for UAR race, and his dad's like freaking out. Okay, I mean, he's like freaking out. I gotta come everybody. You know, it's just I was like, dude, he learned so much more. You know, I think he come back and won that race. But I'm like, he learned so much more from that than if he did qual- All these dads think you need to qualify on the pole and you need to lead every lap. Well, no, that's the exact opposite of what you need to do. You know why I think that kid was really, really good? Because he looked at Jamie and Greg Marlowe like they were superheroes at that time. Well, I mean, at the time, they probably and, both and were. I, and I don't mean it from that way. You know, and I don't mean, you know, that they're right, not now. Right. I just mean he, like, I remember the first time meeting him and him gazing at them, too. Right. Like, they had just win the Winston or win right. the cup title right. or win. Right. And, and I think that led a lot to it. He completely bought in. He completely bought in, was willing to do his side and right. and went right. at it. I, I think right. he was a good ambassador for late model stock. I'm... I'm intrigued. I, I was interested to see him do Martinsville this year. I don't think he quite had the outcome that he wanted, but I well, think they were in some older stuff. Yeah, and for sure. Definitely trying to do different things. He uh, he definitely didn't have you know what he uh, what he wanted you know car wise. Uh, I don't think, uh, but you know his his talent always shines through. I, I tell you, first time I ever met the kid, Jamie actually you know said, hey, man, come to Hickory. I'm testing this kid. He said, I think he's going to be really good. Well, you know, Jamie thinks everybody's paying. He's going to be really freaking good, okay? You know what I mean? So I'm thinking, all right, whatever. You know, but I'm, I ride down, you know, go to Hickory, get there. You know, I'm talking to him, you know, goes out, makes a couple runs, goes out next run, kills the car, just loses it in turn three, kills it. He comes down. I, you know, I'm like, well, let's see how he handles this. Yeah. And uh, and I was supposed to be there to interview him. You know, Jamie's like, man, I need you to interview him, blah, blah, blah. You know, and give him some exposure, you know, make him feel good, blah, blah, blah. Okay, man. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad to help. Right. Um, and, uh, and, and I go, man, I hate to interview you now after all that. He said, no, oh, man, it's good. And uh, he starts talking, and he's like, uh, he's like I'm, I'm, I'm going to NASCAR. He said, that's what I'm doing. I said, man, you know, you just killed this car, and you got so much confidence. And he's like, Oh, that was just a mistake. He said, "He said I, I'm going to learn from that, and we're going to go on. And I'm like, man, this kid's the real freaking deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you could just you could just tell. And you and you can tell. When you talk to these kids. I think so, too. I can learn more talking to them than I can watching them on 100%. the Hundred percent. You know what I mean? If they, if they have the right attitude about it, even if they're not the most talented, they're going to get it. And I hate to judge them that early, too, but oh, it's sure. really become bad. I, I, right. Where I can almost... Trend what's going to happen, the, the Dylan, Dylan Bassett. Yep. First time I ever seen him was in Newport. Yeah, Ronnie was running a, uh, a late model, and Dylan they roll his Legends car out, <laughs> and he goes out on the track, and I'm just watching him. I'm like, damn, this kid can drive. You know what I mean? I don't know anything about Legends yeah, car. But I don't think people I mean, like, know how hard they worked on, on their wheel. stuff. Like, right? They had a Legend oh, car yeah. track exactly right, the same right, right. as Charlotte. Right. At their, they invited me over. Come on over, check out the right. shop. I'm thinking, right, yeah, this would be cool. We'll roll up yeah. this little. Man, they had they an outfit, little, nothing, right? Yeah. They had an outfit. They they yeah. knew what they were doing. Yeah, every sure. they, all of them were in the shop working together. There right. wasn't like it, I, it was. I don't think people understand how understood yep. or understand still they're racing. He's going to come on and, and hopefully do a show. He and I text back and forth. Yeah. Um. He, he Ronnie. I don't think was near as raw talented as oh for sure uh, Dylan. Yeah, but Dylan had watched Ronnie. I think but Ronnie learned so much when he got into UAR. It was just it was it was amazing to watch him progress from you know the first time I seen him on the track, you know on and I mean Dylan, you know they just needed to rein him in a little bit. Right. And that was all they needed. You know, the one thing I really noticed: the kids that make it, their dads are rock stars. Typically, it's amazing, huh? Look yeah. at Logano's dad. Right. Look at. You, look at Kyle Bush's dad. Well, I got a great opportunity to great man. I mean, right. unbelievable man. Yep. Right? Like you when you seem to look at these, it seems like th- that seems to be I've been trying to figure out a common denominator. You know, and it, it's funny that you say that because one of the ways that I judge whether a guy's going to go anywhere or not is when I meet his dad. 100%. Or his mom in some cases. Um, but you know when you meet that dad and he's talking all that dumb crap i think they don't know, know that we know you know <laughs> you know this guy is getting ready to fail for his son right you know what i mean you just know it. i want to tell them not to too but i don't right. they, i know that they will not listen to me right i can usually tell by how they word that i want to buy a car right right i need this I and i need it. that and so then i 
it would be no different than if I asked someone whatever they did every day, right? Like, right. So I started asking a few questions, and you can see this dude's in trouble. Right. And instead of right. admitting, hey, I'm in trouble, I don't really know, could you help me or could you get me? I think pride gets in the way. Right. <laughs> and then sure. that by the time it's done, they spent 70000 and I begged them not to. Please, like, right. please, right. hold on, right. let's go for eighteen this year. And then, because you're going to need that seventy. trust me. Right. <laughs> tr- That's right. Tr- trust That's right. me you're going to need it. Um, man. What do you think about Bowman Gray? Will it will it continue to that, go? That was one hell of a transition. <laughs> no, no, I I, I, I want to ask you is I think you have so many good things that I like to add. I'm gonna edit it up as much as I want anyway. Sure. <laughs> so I I what do you do you think that they just survive on brand alone? Somewhat. I mean, but if you look at it, you know, when they had their TV show, not this last debauchery. Thing, um, but you know, their their TV show from before. Um yeah, that really ramped them up to another level. The, re- the reason why that clicked with me there is because I think they're the only one where I don't see, like, I don't see the same game being played there, right? Like, there's as some... As far as what? As far as the dad having to be some monster, probably crazy businessman that I don't... I, sure. I see there being money involved there, but I, 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 I'm drawn to the fact that it's the normal racer guy he maybe owns a business i'm not saying he doesn't have to have money to race please don't think that but it's still a lot of the saturday night racer guy Uh, i'm sure they spend a lot there's modified guys i'm sure they the ones that run up front i'm sure they spend a lot of money sure Uh, but like the sportsman division there which is basically their late model yep man that's such a good thing it you know you you ask do they survive on brand alone well they survive on that in common sense because they have a great set of rules where you can basically run any car straight rail you know perimeter chassis whatever whatever you want you know you don't have to you don't have to spend a ton of money tires you know right i mean tommy neal told me that he had bought i believe it's what he said he bought three sets of tires this past season to run the entire season it's awesome i mean some idiots just bought three sets of tires to go down there to Bronco Beach, okay? Actually, more no, than that. I was going to say three. <laughs> listen, those were the broke idiots. Right? They bought three sets were, of tires. Uh, okay. The guys that I were talking to were talking about, you got to at least have six sets to go down there. I don't know how you cannot have six sets. Just think about how stupid that is. Yeah. Think about how stupid what we're what w- the product that we have is. I mean, and then you look at Bowman Gray and people go, well, man, it's Bowman Gray and they're successful because they're in the middle of a city. That's partially true. There are more people in the stands probably because you've got a great location. But at the same time, they have local racers and local business people and local people who yes. work somewhere can afford to race there. That's what we're all missing here. But there ain't nobody up in the stands go, oh, man, I really like that kid. You know what I mean? But wait. No, I, I have a question because there's kind of a small exception to that rule because I used this the other day and I got beaten. So what about the Byron kid? Now, there's a lot of people that have sat back and said, man, I liked watching him race at Hickory. I liked watching him race wherever, here, ever, wherever, blah, blah, blah. Now, do you think that helps drag some fan? But he wasn't here very long, right? Yeah. Like, And they didn't know who he was then. Right. Listen, everybody, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. So they all look back and they can say, oh, man, he used to race at Hickory. And, man, he used to run this and he used to do this. And that's all great. But what did that do for the racetrack? Right. Nothing. And absolutely nothing. Because at nothing. that point in time, he was no... I mean, you couldn't you couldn't advertise of tracks, him. You know, they got a they got a two tire purse for a four tire race or a six tire race or whatever the, the 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 occasion is, and it just doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? So you don't care as much about my phone going crazy today. You don't care as much about the 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 cost of the race as you think that it needs to be quantitative based. Like you, you, we already know that 30, 40 cards is hard, right? Like it's hard to manage. It's hard to do whatever. So it's it, not even about that. Hickory could, and I'm using Hickory as an example, just cause that's what we're talking about. Sure. Uh, you know, they could, they could take their fan. They could triple their fan count if they had local racers racing in their premier division. You know what I mean? Like, take same car count, okay? Take take same car count that they have right now, and just put all local guys who people know in it. You no, know, you fan count. Triple. Agreed. So, you know, I mean, you know, you triple, and I, I mean this, you know, and this uh, right. is not necessarily triple just, their number. Right. You, yeah, right. Yeah, you, you, you know, you're going to fifteen hundred. So yep. and, and that's not. It's not got anything to do with the track. I mean, you know, the truth is that you know, when you see packed grandstands at some of these racetracks. There ain't but 500 people there. I'm right. sorry. You know what I mean? When you see a packed house at Hickory, when they have the throwback race or whatever, there's a huge, huge crowd there. You know what I mean? Um, you know, four or 5,000 people. You know, so 
but people get confused. They see 500, let's just say, for example, at, at Hickory, and they think, man, you know, there ain't nobody here. Well, no, there's as many people there as there is that say Dylan, and the stands are packed at Dylan. But you don't understand there's a difference in the size, thing, and nobody will ever understand that. You it's always say that to me. Every time sure. I ask you, how, look, look at these people. Great, Man, what do you think about the turnout here? You say to me, oh, there wasn't as many as you thought, or great, X, Y. Great, great example, and I'm not making myself an excuse, okay? It will look like there's nobody there at Franklin County this weekend, even if we have 1,000, 1,500 people, because the place holds 8,000 people, and that don't include the people that's going to be sitting in cars. What about the choo-choo train? I don't know if we'll have it running. No, that thing is sweet. You going to drive it? I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Put you on the spot here, man. I like that. I mean, the choo-choo train was an all... I, it is. I it thought is. that it's was really cool. cool. Like, it is. I, I think so many times we've alienated the kids at so many of these racetracks. Yes. And I, I... I... Like... I don't know. I just think that's something that I would really be into. I th I think that the, if we get the kids back to it, then there's a way to, you know what I mean? I agree. I agree 100%. That's why we always had it running. It was awesome. Know, when we were running it regularly, you know, for a one-off, you know, may or may not make sense for us. Um, you know, but we always had kids bike races, streetcar drag racing to get the adults, you know, involved that don't have a race car. You know, they may get out there and drag race one lap around in their personal car and right. go, oh, my God, I got to get by a race car. Uh, which happened many times. That was actually. awesome, that place, by the way, the um, drag racing yeah. around there. You pay to flip uh, your stuff over. Oh, yeah, man. Awesome. I've, I've seen many. This one dude, he had just bought a brand new Mustang. Brand new. Right out of the showroom, okay? Brought it up there, 30-day tags. <laughs> he had bought it that day, okay? And he backed that thing into the inside wall and front straight away. You take it back? And uh, sure. I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> you didn't I don't want know it what enough. happened, but it was awesome. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. That is awesome. That is awesome. Well, I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. To give us a little recap of the race one more time, so I can run it. Uh, I want to run it in some little things for myself. I, I'm I'm going to be there. I'm I'm happy. We might get Corey to come. I don't know if you'll get him to come or not. He's lays around. I mean, I think Myrtle Beach might have did him in. You know, <laughs> I I talked to him earlier. He sounded like I, you couldn't even hear him. I don't know. I mean, too many beers. Yeah. I don't really know what's happening. Them I, guys were up late. I'd say that was a definite problem. <laughs> that was a definite beer. problem. So. Big crowd. I, if you can make it out, I, I definitely. I would like to. You say it won't be a big crowd, but I, I well, think. It won't look I think, like it. I it think may be. Just with the amount of cars that you're going to have, I think. I think it's going to be intriguing. I, I think. Uh, I think there'll be some people there videoing some things, so it might be a good chance to get a little footage of your car and and uh, maybe you can. You know what I mean? Use it to try to get some sponsorship or do different things uh, throughout the year. I think people need to reach out to you more. I, I think you're definitely undervalued asset in this deal. Uh, Give us a rundown of it. Well, I mean, you know, I, I think it'll be a great show. Uh, the Southern Turkey Derby, you know, I know people have said, oh, man, the Turkey Derby's up north. Well, if anybody confused the Southern Turkey Derby <laughs> with Turkey Derby, you're an idiot. So, <laughs> you, you know, we can just start there. You're but an idiot. If you're Franklin County, sums the whole thing up. <laughs> Franklin right, County, right. I'm from the north. Franklin County would not be up north. <laughs> right? It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It's awesome. I mean, y'all got some messed up Yankees up we there, do. too. I mean, you know, Kyle Moon, you know, come down here. He's one of them. So, yeah. you know. Um, but, yeah. uh, you know, 125-lap late model race, 40-lap Mod 4 race. The Mod 4s are going to be amazing, I'm telling you. I don't even know where we're going to park these guys. My I, wife I just, is after me, ain't she? God just, dang. Well, like yeah. the fifth time. She knows how you are. Um, <laughs> but, <God>. uh, <laughs> but you know, stock fours, U cars, uh, it, it's going to be a great show, man. I'm telling you, Franklin County is one of those tracks. You don't need very many cars to have a good show, and we've got a pretty good amount of cars. Yeah. So. I'm, I feel really, really good about it. I feel really good about the show people will see. You know, it's a $15 ticket, which, you know, to race fans in that area is kind of high because Motor Mile goes really low on their tickets when they really shouldn't. But that's another story for another day. Because, um, I mean, they had a $15 product last year. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, they really did. Now, before that, they didn't have a $5 product. Right. And, I mean, they could give away tickets and nobody come because it wasn't very good. But now last year, they had a great product, and I think they're going to continue that this year. And I think we're going to have a great product at uh, Franklin County, man. I'm... I, I would say wait. I would say that I can't wait, but I can because I got way too much to do the rest of this week. The only reason I'm here today, it's if it I, had not been raining, I would not have made it. He's lying. I, I started calling him yesterday, guilting him into this. I just want to be. You started calling me a week ago, <laughs> no, two weeks ago. I, I just I wanted him to come on. I wanted him to talk about this race. I think uh, I think it's going to be a good time. I, I don't. I think this is one of the things where money is still a factor, but it's a less of a factor. Does that make sense? I, I don't. I I just I think. 
many cars could go up there and be successful. The racetrack is really racy. It's a great time, right? There's good people. It's, it, I think it's going to be fun. I don't think you have to. The guy that wins this race will not pull in in a stacker truck and trailer with 15 guys. More than likely not. Right. And, and that's what I like about it. Well, the the and I tell people this all the time. People say that they've never been to Franklin. They say, "Well, what's what's it like?" I say, "Man, it's a driver's track." I say, like, "You do not need, you know, to be a millionaire. Right. You don't need to have the best guy in racing setting up your car. You don't need no trick parts. That's it. You just need to be able to drive. And the guy who can drive the best is going to win the race. That's that's the bottom line. And most of them guys that have been up there, from the Justin Carrolls to the Boo Boo Daltons to the right. Any, well, Justin's uh, never been there. Oh, I thought he raced up there. No, no, hmm. no. No, Boo Boo. Boo Boo was really good there. I don't know if he's coming. I haven't talked to him since uh, he got through uh, Myrtle Beach this past weekend. I don't know Man, I was... how he came out on that. Huh. Um, but uh, you know, guys, you know, Kyle Dudley. You know, you know, he's a second or third place car at Motor Mile. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, everybody's second to you know Mike Looney. So if you're <laughs> second or third place car, you're the winner. Right. You're doing well. Um, you know. Yeah. You're really good. Um, you know. So. I, I really feel like, uh, you know, he'll be one of the guys to beat. Kelly Kingery called me yesterday. I think he's coming. He's Guy's exceptionally good there. Guy's a I beast. mean, he, he's an absolute wheel man. Um, you know, so uh, Thomas Bean will be good. Thomas was good in practice. Bobby Gillespie was really good in practice. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys. I, you know, Chuck Lawson and Daniel Moss are both entered. Craig Moore supposed to be working on their cars. I don't know if they'll make it for sure. I know they tore up their car a little bit, you know, last next to last race at uh, Orange County. Uh, but if they come, I mean, Daniel's an exceptional driver. Chuck's been there before. He's really good, too. Um, so, I mean, it, it's going to be a really good show. I mean, I really feel like uh, Tommy Neal is coming. Uh, Tommy will nice. be good. Uh, I yeah. feel like there's about seven cars, maybe eight, that could win the race. And I don't think you get that very many times. You know? <laughs> Sounds like a car store event, to be real honest. I mean, yeah, <laughs> honest, but on, on a different scale. Sure. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just, it's a different it's a different beast. I, and I tell you, I'd love to see a car store race, you know, at Franklin County. Me too. I mean, that'd be That'd be sick. Be, you know, the past race, we ended up having to cancel it. You know, management issues there. <laughs> um, ownership <laughs> slash management issues there. And um, that was going to be a good one. I mean, it really was. They had a bunch of northern guys coming down. And the, the car store, man, car, car store late mile stocks would put on an exceptional I'd like show. to see that. I mean. That would be good. We should start plugging that in there. That was that would be good. Yeah, I mean, I've could, already. Could they reach an agreement? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, it could be done. That's I nice. mean, you know. The, the track, I mean, I'll, I'll say this right now. You know, don't hold it against me what the track looks like right now because I ain't had, you know, sure. I ain't had, you know. Yeah, a couple weeks to put this yeah, together. Yeah, right. so, you know, so it doesn't look as good. You know, I'm like the video I put up and people were commenting on this at practice. They were like, man, the track looks so much better back then. You know what right. I mean? You know, the walls were freshly painted and, you know, everything was done, you know, the right uh, the right way. And, and uh, you know, it's not right now, but the the old racetrack is still the say, old racetrack. I, yeah. It's just great. I don't. I don't think that's what number one. What people are after right at this moment in time. I, I think people are just after great racing if they can get a hold of it. You know, well, I, typically, and and this is something that I find all the time. I know some people like to go to really nice facilities, and that's cool and all. If that's what you're into, you want to go to see a boring race at a nice facility, that's cool. But if you want to see a good race, go to a dump. Yeah. You know what I mean? I agree. And, and I and I mean no disrespect to you know Newport or Kingsport or you know Franklin County or you know Orange County almost is headed toward becoming a dump. Tri County is the dump. You know, <laughs> it may not be for long, you know. But what do you know? Hickory's you know kind of dumpy. You know what I mean? It's it's cleaned up, painted a little bit, but kind of dumpy. But it's good racing. The yeah. racing's good there. The racing the racing is good at these dumps. I mean they really are. I mean if if the track doesn't look good, the racing's going to be great. <laughs> Well, it has to be living on something, right? So the product right. has to be worth the dollar. Right. I mean, you know, and it, like Franklin County, you know, it's it, it hasn't been paved since it was since it was originally paved in 1968. That's awesome. So, I mean, it, but Thomas Bain said it had the most grip so of any track he's been to. years old. The racetrack hasn't right. Yes. It'll be 52 years old this so, year. Thomas Bain said it had more grip than any racetrack he's been to all year. He don't race nowhere. Well, I mean, you know, it's got to have more grip than Hickory. So. Right. Because you know. Hickory was paved in 1912. The last <laughs> time. Actually, I think it was like 89 or something, <laughs> no, for real. It, but, it, you know, the one thing about Franklin County's pavement that was really smart uh, done back in the day, and I, I don't know that it was by accident, but I, I'm sure they didn't have engineers and everybody involved, but they had a rubber compound mixed into it. So that's how it, it held made. it. And I mean, yeah, but your the winners pavement's up like there, nothing. Your, your you know? winners up there are way more brutal than ours down here, though, oh, right, with sure. the freezing for and sure. the getting underneath. But the one thing that really saves that place, especially uh, turns three and four, is uh, 
they got pine trees there, so you know you don't. The weather doesn't hit it. Get into much, the racetrack. You know what I mean? on the back like side. so, when it freezes, it doesn't like you know come you know thaw, thaw and out get so back, quick and right. you go right back. Just It'll stays. stay frozen. Nice. You know what I mean? So I think that helps. And it's just a badass racetrack, man. And I, and I know I'm biased because I'm putting on the event and I've been there my whole life and you know all that, but. It's a, if no, it's, you've it's, never it's, seen a race at Franklin County, it is definitely worth coming to. It's pretty badass. Like I, I wish I could not say that it was. I, I'm telling you, this stuff still pops up on my Facebook feed from me going there, and I'm like, wow, that was awesome, right? Like right, it, right. it's a good time. Um, definitely check it out on Sunday if you uh, if you get time. Hit Langley up for whatever social needs you got. He does a really really good job on all that stuff. Driver cards. Well, he already said the website deals. Kind of, well, <laughs> it just takes like, a lot of time. Like I right? said, I, I'll do them, but I, I'm not actively seeking. Seeking people, it, right? Because it's a lot of work. It is a lot. And of you work. know me, I'm not into a lot of work. Uh, so. Yes, I know that you're not. No, I, <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I know, you know, I get up a little later than you. You, you, do. you get up at eleven. I get up at eleven thirty. I do not get up at eleven. Whatever, I, you know, I am. Yeah, okay. Seven o'clock. I am out of the house every day. Yeah. A lot of time, I'm out by six thirty. You might want to fix your clock. <laughs> no, that's, that's just, man, you're, you're, Marlo does the same thing to me. That's because he's in here at seven thirty, and you're not here. No, I am. I meet him here. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. And we hang out and have old guy time. It's great. Well, it's definitely two old guys for sure. Um, I like to thank you for coming all the way down here. We'll uh, yeah, we'll try to get this thing edited up. Try to get it up. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it up Thursday. I think I can do it. I think if I go home tonight, <laughs> just work on it. I can get it up for Thursday. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll just, see you on Just Saturday. put it up or all. Let's yep. roll. Gosh, no. Just go. Let's it's an hour and 15 minutes. I don't know how I can. They get mad at me for when I try to put big shows up. I mean, they'll, they'll sit there and listen to yeah, it. That's awesome. I mean, we've talked enough crap. So. We have talked a little bit of junk, just enough to make it interesting. I mean, this is almost like Race 22 Radio, except get that started back up, too, here in the next little sure. bit. Um, let's get through Thanksgiving here, and then maybe we'll try to. I'm sure there's going to be some real interesting things. Silly season's coming about. I know. I know uh, a lot of a lot of gossip trying to come through Performance Center here lately with people right. breaking news and this and that and whatever. So should be interesting to see what we get. Uh, we're going to be coming to you from the PRI show. We got a lot of things going on there, interviews, real time things. I got Langley sucked into going with a camera crew. It should be. I'm trying to figure out how to get out. It, of it. <laughs> it should be pretty interesting. <laughs> so um, hopefully we can break some good stuff up there and, and try to bring you guys. Uh, some more of the behind the scenes inner workings of what we got going. Um, if you got any questions for either one of us, hit us up on social. Uh, we'll <laughs> do whatever we can to help you. I don't know that it'll be good help, but it'll be some kind of help. We'll give you some sort of direction. It might be backwards, <laughs> but you know, whatever. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, till we get to see you next time. Peace out.